What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So we're diving into this is called Band Aid. Do they know it's Christmas? This was requested by Peaked, and this song was written to raise money for relief efforts where the famine was raging in Ethiopia in the mid 80s. So we will see what kind of vibe we get with this one. A song like this made to make money for that and help out with that is a very important song and it's beautiful that we can have music made to help out with situations like this. So Band-Aid is a super group it says here. Hold on, let me look at this. Okay, the super group is the vocal talents of Boy George, George Michael, Sting, Bono and more British stars. Okay, I gotcha. Raising ten million dollars and is still a Christmas standard today. Wow. The full impact on helping to end famine in Africa and messages sent are now outdated messages for the Western audiences. The song's still quite Leggy and helping charities with every reissue, and those featured in the releases have attempted to amend some of the more questionable lines. Okay, I gotcha. So this is one of those songs that's, like, applied to the time period, but today some of the lines might be questionable. So we'll see what they mean by that in the description. That's actually in the description of the lyric sheet, that part right there. So we will see what we get with this one. It's awesome that they raised that much money to help with the famine relief efforts. That's really incredible that they managed to do that with a single song. One single song doing that is a very huge impact. So that is awesome that that was able to be done. I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you're new here, hit that subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, instrumentation, stage performance. I don't know if this is live or if this is a music video. Not 100% sure. But I like diving in and going the whole nine yards on breaking down these lyrics for you guys. You know that. So we will see what they meant with the questionable lines in the description there. We will find those and apply them to today in a more relevant manner if we can do that. Right? So I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for everything. It means the whole world to me that we can get on here and discuss all of these issues in the world and have a blast with each other, break down all these lyrics. I always like to say if you're going through anything difficult in your life that involves mental health or addiction, please go get professional help. It's very hard to pull yourself out of those things, especially whenever you're stuck in it for a lot of years and it's been a big factor in your life for a long time. It can be difficult to pull yourself out of that. So please go get professional help. I can promise you it works as somebody who did it theirself and is now standing here able to help out you guys and inspire you guys with my own story. I can promise you that it works and that it is worth it so much at the end of the day. We're going to get into this one for you. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is Band-Aid. Do they know it's Christmas? Music video. That's what we got with it's it. It's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. Mm. At Christmas time, we let in light and we vanish it. I like that. And in our world, That's Paul Young. There's Boy George. It's got that classic 80s vibe for sure. So it's like a music video live performance sort of is the approach that they have to this. Paul Young started it out. Said it's Christmas time. There's no need to be afraid. At Christmas time we let in light and we banish shade. Sheesh. 
I like that right there. We let in light and we banish shade. That's beautiful. I like that. That's very positive to start the song out. Boy George says, and in our world of plenty, we can spread a smile of joy. Throw your arms around the world at Christmas time. That's beautiful right there. Saying, spread the love to the world. Spread the love to the world at Christmas time and spread the smiles of joy. We can have plenty. We are able to give to people. Let the light in and banish the shade. And do not be afraid at Christmas time. I like it. But say a prayer to pray for the other one. Here we go. At Christmas time, it's hard, but when you're having fun, there's no world outside your window, and it's a world of dread and fear. This next part, right? We have George Michael and Simon Laban say, but say a prayer, pray for the other ones at Christmas time is hard, but when you're having fun. Yeah, now we're getting into the empathetic side of the lyricism in this. Simon Laban and Sting then say, There's a world outside your window, and it's a world of dread and fear. Where the only water flowing is the bitter sting of tears. That is deep right there. Man, what a way to describe it. That's beautiful lyricism right there. Very poetic way to describe it. Such a sad circumstance, especially whenever this is for a famine relief. Famine is an, one of the most awful fucking things. It's the saddest thing you'll ever see pictures of if you stumble upon them in your entire life. It's heartbreaking what it looks like in places that have problems of famine it's such a heartbreaking and sad thing and to have songs be released that provide that much relief to be able to be had is very amazing that they got they all got together to make this and raise that money and it was very beneficial 10 million dollars is a lot of money back in the 80s especially right and continues to raise money as like royalties now as well right that's incredible dude that is really incredible that they have managed to have the longevity inside of it helping with the relief of those things as well wow very impressive what they accomplished with this song and the lyricism is very poetic it's deep i like it The Christmas bells that ring there are the clanging chimes of doom. That hits the soul, man. That is dark. Bon that was Bono and Sting. Sheesh. Bono says by himself, well, tonight, thank God it's them instead of you. That's a Bono line if I ever heard one. My word. This is filled with gratefulness for circumstance, right? That's what they're talking about here is gratefulness for circumstance. And yeah, it's facts, man. When you're born into a place where it's a little bit easier to get along than a place that's like built on famine and stuck inside of that, you have to remember that blessing and really appreciate it really do thank God for all of the blessings that you have inside of your life and how fortunate you are to be from where you're from in most instances, right? Yeah. Leave it to Bono, man. Jeez. So in Africa this Christmas
there's a whole annotation for that entire course kind of section there. Okay. I was about to say that. I was pretty sure that this is the part that probably got took, like, slightly out of the context it was intended in, per se. Like, I could see that. Yeah, I can understand that. This annotation explains it even deeper right here. So, this annotation says, Although well-intentioned, these lines about how terrible Africa is have been criticized for misrepresenting both the causes of famine and the continent itself. So, the World Development Movement said, Wow, the World Development Movement had something to say. Here's what they said. The song perpetuates the myth that Africa's problems can somehow be blamed on lack of rainfall and failed harvest. It conjures up an image of a continent inhabited entirely by starving children with flies on their faces sitting in the sun-baked bed of a dried-up stream. The two, Ethiop two Ethiopian fam famines of the mid-80s were caused primarily by the government's poor agricultural policies. Misuse of international aid and an overzealous military which took funds away from health spending. Mm. Poor rainfall exacerbated this. I got you. Of course, it is factually inaccurate to paint all of Africa as one barren wasteland. There are many rivers, lots of rain, huge amounts of plant life, and even snow. Yeah, I was about to say that. I was going to say that about those <laughs> lyrics myself. I was going to be like... I don't think that's accurate exactly how it is, right? So I understand the intention. It's good intentions, obviously, but yeah, that could be misconstrued and misrepresented in the way that it's said. I can understand that. And the annotation covered that very well, too. Man. But the lyrics were, There won't be snow in Africa this Christmas time. The greatest gift they'll get this year is life. Nothing ever grows, no rain or rivers flow. Do they know it's Christmas time at all? Yeah, I could see how that would be misconstrued. I definitely understand that. It's still a good message and a great relief that they provided, obviously. And the effort is appreciated. But yeah, I can understand that part being a bit misconstrued. Marilyn and Glenn Gregory said, here's to you. Paul Young says, raise a glass for everyone. And then Marilyn and Glenn say, here's to them. Paul Young says, underneath that burning sun. Sheesh. Do they know it's Christmas time at all? Man. It's just saying, give, raise a glass for everyone. Give a cheers to everyone. Spread the blessings to everyone. Here's to them underneath that burning sun. Yeah. Being caught in a climate like that during famine would be a very unfortunate circumstance because it is very much so a lot hotter there than other places in the world. Obviously, it will still snow and you will still get that colder kind of weather and everything, but it's much hotter than where most people are used to for sure. This song did a lot, though, like the amount of money it raised and the amount of help it has provided. Despite being able to be misconstrued in that one section, the chorus kind of section, it still did exactly what it was intended to do, and it's beautiful that they were able to do that with the song, right? I like the song. It's a nice song. They all sound very good together. We're about to get into an ending section where everybody sings all together.
think I've heard that whole section of the song. I've heard that before, <clears throat> but I haven't listened to the full song itself. But that ending section there, the feed the world, let them know it's Christmas time again part, I have heard that part before. I like this song. It's a good song. Like I said, there is that part that could be confused, right? And taken a bit out of context, but the ultimate message of the song is absolutely beautiful about providing relief for famine and feeding the world, encouraging light and encouraging sharing blessings with those that are less fortunate and everything like that. The ultimate message of the song is very beautiful and they certainly achieved their goal in what they wanted to do with it as well, providing so much relief. That's respect right there. Large amounts of respect for what they accomplished with this one right here. Peaked. Thank you for this request. I enjoyed this song. I like these lyrics. They were deep lyrics, and it had a great vibe to it. Amazing artists all coming together and doing an amazing song to provide relief. You couldn't ask for anything better than that, right? I appreciate you guys tuning in. Original video will be in the description as always. Subscribe to all the artists we have on the channel. Show them support. Help out the people that you can in your life. If you're going through anything that's a struggle, that's really bad, please get professional help. Live your best life. Love each other. Spread the love, man. That's what it's all about. We're at a crazy point in the world right now, as we always are. It's always been crazy in the world, but we're living inside of our period right now. So let's bear these storms and get through it and make the best thing of our lives and the best thing that we can of ourselves, right? I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm because of Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment those suggestions. Subscribe up this way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Have a blessed night. Peace.